Hey guys, Brian with Curious. In today's video, I will be going over an application called RSS Times. It's a uh, blog reader that comes pre installed on Samsung Mango phones. Uh, here we'll be demoing the application on a Samsung Focus um, running a Mango. So let's take a look at the application right here. Uh, as you can see, the layout's pretty simple. Uh, the way you sign up for it, it, it uses Google Reader to power, it's powered by Google Reader, so um, once you go into settings, you can log in. As you can see, we already signed out here. Um, and you can also link your account via Facebook and Twitter to post articles from here, and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. But the interface is pretty simple. As you can see, once you load up the home screen, um, there's buttons at the top that show your um, your Google Reader feed that has all of your different uh, articles and um, news sources. And then once you, we can refresh it at the top so you can browse through all of your selections there. And at the bottom right, as I've shown you, is the menu setting where you can add and search feeds as well as delete them, like so. You can delete multiple at a time. And then you can also um, refresh all your articles from here. So, um, Oh, and to add to add a new feed, you can simply go to Add Section, and what it'll do is it'll bring up all your f different feeds in Google Reader, and from here you can select one. So let's you know, choose something like BGR here, and then it'll load that up here. So let's take a uh, look at the next view of the UI. Um, when, once you click from the newsstand area, you end up with this kind of these columns that are all uh, you scroll through them hor horizontally, as you can see here. And uh, it makes it pretty easy to navigate. You know, you just go left and right, no scrolling up and down. And as you can see, this leads into the next uh, viewing mode, which is the individual article mode. And these articles are also um, paginated rather than uh, vertical scrolling. So it makes it very easy to read and has everything pre formatted. Um, another interesting feature about this. Uh, application is that it adds a kind of a theme to every single article. It's a, it's kind of arbitrary, but it adds a nice touch. So as you can see in here, what the uh, algorithm has done is it's taken the background image of the iPhone 4s and then put it behind this uh, text box right here, which also has a gradient to it. And you can uh, the the feed is continuous. So after you skip or after you read through one article, it goes to the next one. And as you can see here, you can see the different uh, styles each article is receiving. And from this uh, single article view, you can also bring down the sharing uh, toolbar by simply tapping on any part of the content. It'll bring down, it'll have this drop-down toolbar. You can you star it, you can like it, you can email it and share it via Facebook or Twitter. Visit the original um, the article itself from the native web page, or you can copy the URL, you know, and you know, send it to someone else via via email or something. So that's uh, pretty much the UI interface right there. Pretty uh, straightforward and simple, but very easy to navigate, and it's pretty responsive, especially running this uh, this past generation hardware right now. So, like I said, this application is now being shipped on uh, current phones like the Focus S, uh, which is an AT&T 4G uh, Windows Phone 7 and device. And um, so, if you have that phone, go ahead and take a look at this and sign up your Google account, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by the reader. All right. Check us out at curious.net for more reviews, tips, and applications.